forget about Photoshop and Canva and try out this completely free tool that will allow us to remove and replace objects in photos, change clothing, alter our hairstyle and color, remove the background and replace it with anything, swap faces in photos, create animation style images or even generate a simple passport photo and a lot more. I've been playing around with it with some experiences which are really cool. Some of them we can use for work but some of them I do believe that only to joke with our friends and family. So let's dive in. Now the tool is called AI Ease. It's completely free with no limits as of today of course and hopefully it will remain like this. It is available on any browser, on any phone, on any computer but there's also a iPhone app. At this moment still not available for Android but I do expect that they release soon and that would be great because it's so much easier to use on our phone but I will leave that towards the end of the video. Now once we search for AI Ease we will find a page which is really easy to navigate. Once we look at it there is a menu outlining what we can do with examples for each category. I first tried creating passport photos and nothing groundbreaking honestly but since I'm using random office thumbnails the results were actually good and yours might be even better if you take a better picture. There's also an option to generate a child face based on two people which I found a bit odd and not particularly useful but is one of those things that if you want to use go ahead. Now change object colors. This is really cool. We can change the color of any object like air or clothing. I did love this feature. I could turn a classic jacket to a orange jacket which looked great and depending on our photos it could be even more interesting. I also played around with photos so resizing an AI feel and it worked well but if you pay attention it's not perfect for instance it did extend the trees completely correct but in the photo we have a bridge on my back and it did not continue the bridge. So this was a bit hilarious and this will depend on a picture. We can also achieve some fun hair transformation. This was cool from feminine hairstyles for example with some crazy colors. The result of course will depend on a photo and what we are aiming for. Some will look great but that one with the photo I'm not really sure if you paid attention. It did add one extra arm so some artifacts on the pictures but most of them were great. Doesn't matter if it's only to play around with our friends for a few laughs because we only will lose about 10 or 20 seconds with one click and there are a few that I could actually use in real life because they actually they look real although my hair was weird. We can also replace objects and this feature lets us remove and replace any object with just text instructions. For example I did swap oranges for a strawberry and it did a great job as we can see there. I also swapped a watch for a hamburger which was surprisingly effectively special with simple photos such as this. So if we want to change anything this is a great tool. We can also replace clothing entirely. I did swap my jacket for a red t-shirt which was great but sometimes weird objects or extra arms appeared and this will depend on the picture that we have and it works great with simple photos and we can even add extra elements like replacing a bridge with a mountain or a tsunami. This will depend on our imagination. We can also insert objects into photos. I did add a sandwich and also I request for a mouse and both a real mouse and a comically oversized XSL computer mouse appear so the result will depend on what we are asking and probably I was not specific enough. So I think if we take this to the work side of things more serious we need to specify things a little bit better. We can also add accessories. I did add some glasses and the reading glasses didn't go really well. My face just looked a lot strange so that was not cool but sunglasses worked a lot better and there was one pink that was really really cool but just for fun. Now we can also do some character transformations and we can turn ourselves into any character using the photos on the platform or 
our own photo. We just need to upload our face and choose the character that we want to be. And the results, some of them were just hilarious and for purely fun, but some of them I could see myself right over there, like the pirate example, but there are a few examples that you can see, obviously, that it does look a little bit my myself, but it, it's not me. Now, background removal, it's really effective here. And unlike Canva and other platforms where it's a paid feature, here it's completely free. And we can download the photo, for example, and replace it with any background, or we can replace the backgrounds on the platform, which we are limited to the background backgrounds that they are there. Now, this is something that I do on a frequent basis when I need a thumbnail for a YouTube video, for example, where I take a picture pointing at something and then I need to remove the background as quick as possible. On Photoshop, we will take a little bit longer and if we don't know to use Photoshop, then it will take even longer. And then there are a lot of apps that can do this, but most of them are paid feature like on Canva. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. So in my opinion, this is one of those that you can use for free. Just the click of a button works great. And the pictures that I was using are not meant to remove the background, but you get the idea. Now, we can also remove objects which did work great, especially with clear and simple photos. You can see one that I had a Huawei phone on the table and it was occupying my shirt, which is this black shirt, and also the table, and it did work awesome. I did other attempts which needed multiple tries and some of them did work better than others. If you want to remove text, then it did work really well without any issues whatsoever. Finally, I also tried the avatar creation and this avatar tool lets us create profile pictures for platforms like LinkedIn and the results, in my opinion, weren't amazing. This can be due to the fact that my pictures are not the best for this, but I didn't see myself on those pictures on the tries that I did. I do see someone that looks similar to my expressions, but it's not myself. And I don't want someone looking like me on my profile. I want exactly me. So I believe that at this moment, if I want a picture with a suit, I will dress a suit and take a picture and upload the photo. Now, all these features are available on the iPhone, as I mentioned, and I believe that this is the easiest way to use, especially because we have all our photos on our phone. And although we can use any phone with our pictures and open the browser and do everything that I did show, the app is just more pleasant. I can just select the effect and then apply the picture and it will give me a result, which most of them were really cool, but I was treating the app more on the joke side than on the serious side. But I do see a lot of scenarios that I could use it for work, not only for the background removal, but also for removing objects that I forgot to leave on the table. Sometimes I take a thumbnail, for example, with an object like this and I forget it. So it could be something that we can use to remove the object and make it disappear in a really quick way without having to use complicated apps like we did in the past with Photoshop and similar apps. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.